Yes, the rumors are true. This is the face of someone that got blackout drunk one night in June and then accidentally bought two VIP second row tickets to Pitbull in LA. The person that did that is unfortunately me and the night that that is happening is a- not unfortunately, but it's fucking tonight. Okay, there was just a weird mark on my screen, but I think it's gone now. Um, okay, so it's fucking 1.30 right now, guys. <sighs> Pipple is in LA tonight, and I am literally filming this as I don't have my last Pipple vlog edited. I've been moving, it's been chaotic, crazy ass year, whatever the fuck. I have to get ready right now because, once again, I have a VIP package to Pipple tonight for really no fucking reason, but also, like, more reasons than one. It just depends on how you want to look at it, but it comes with the most ridiculous amount of things that I'm gonna read off with my roommate, Sydney, because she's coming with me tonight. Whatever she gets back from getting her blowout. Yes, we did both just get our hair done and I got my nails done this morning and I went to Ulta. It's been a morning. The amount of money I spent this morning is just not even okay for this. The amount of money I spent on these tickets is almost as much as my share of the rent. That's absurd. That's not okay. Well, yes it is. I don't know. Yeah, so I kind of forgot that this was like a VIP package that I bought and one of the things that comes with it is that you get to take a picture on stage and the VIP package email that I got two days ago said that you have to be at the venue by 4.10 the latest to be able to do that. What am I going to do from 4 to 9 9 p.m. because Pitbull does not come on stage till 9 and the opener at Iggy doesn't go on till 8. What am I gonna do all day? I don't know, but I simply just need a picture on stage so I am going to be there for 410. So I have to get ready right now. We have like an hour and a half. I mean, my hair is pretty much done. My outfit is fucking iconic. I really only have to do my makeup and I bought a lot of new makeup so this should be fun. I also just ordered Shake Shack because I haven't really eaten this morning. That's my other concern. When do I start drinking? Do I start drinking at 3 p.m.? Really? It's a Wednesday. Do I really need to be drinking at 3 p.m.? No, I don't. Am I going to do it anyways because of the occasion? I think I don't really have a choice. But yeah, before I start fucking drinking for the entire day, I feel like it would be in my best interest to put a hot dog and some cheesy fries in my system. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah, let's just start this makeup process. What are these hairs doing right now? Oh my fucking god. Okay, so we literally have to leave right this second or we might miss the backstage tour and the onstage photo. Look at us. We look amazing. <laughs> We actually like, pulled this together really fast, but I thought we had like a lot of time to take pictures and like pull ourselves together and shit, but no. This there's... is fucking typical. No, of We course. have not had one smooth transition for no. anything ever. No, no. been roommates for what, two weeks? Yep, I will literally have to talk to you in this Uber right now, and I really hope that we get our onstage picture, and I actually feel kind of cute, so this is fun. Here we go. Okay, so who wants to take a guess as to what happened next? I'm not even gonna say it because we all know exactly what happened, but please just let me explain. So a week before the concert, I had mapped out on Google how far my apartment was from the venue. And I don't know where I went wrong here. I don't know if I mapped it out at three in the morning or if I just mapped it out to the wrong venue, which would kind of make sense, which I'll get to in a second. But at one point in time, Google Maps claimed that the brand new YouTube theater that Pitbull was performing at this week was only 20 minutes away from my apartment. But then of course, when it was time to actually go to the show, I went on Uber and then discovered it was an hour away and it was rush hour. So once we discovered how far away we were from the venue, we obviously had to rush out the door, which you kind of just saw there, and immediately get in the Uber and Originally it said that at the time that we had gotten in the Uber, we were going to make it to the venue into the VIP check-in only five minutes past the last potential check-in time, which we were like, okay, that's fine. I will slip every single person at VIP Nation a $20 bill if I must, and I feel like we'll be fine. We'll be able to get our VIP package, pick everything up, do the onstage picture. We'll be good with only being five minutes late. But of course we were not only five minutes late because everything goes fucking wrong for me. Like it does, but it doesn't. You're probably not new here. You know how shit goes for me. So this is not shocking to anyone. So there we were anxious as fuck sitting in our our Uber in traffic for an extremely long time, wondering if I was ever going to make it on stage with Pitbull because I didn't care if they were claiming that Pitbull was not going to be in that picture or not. I was going to find a way to meet that man, okay? If you were going to put me and Sydney on the stage that Pitbull was performing at, I was going to find a way backstage and I was going to find that man and I was going to have my godforsaken meet and greet with him that I deserve. Nothing was going to stop me except traffic and miscalculation and the next thing that I'm about to explain. So we finally get to the YouTube theater only to realize we're not at the YouTube theater. We're at a random ass casino. Why is it so the issue is, is that the YouTube theater is a, how many times am I gonna say that word? It's a brand new venue out here. It's so new that it's not even on Google Maps yet. And that's why I think I went wrong with calculating how far it was from where I live because it's hard to get the address. And in the VIP email, I remember that it said location of the show was straight up just YouTube theater. No address, nothing useful whatsoever. Just find the YouTube theater and that's where Pitbull will be. So I had to obviously Google the address of the venue and I just used the first address that I found online. Cause normally that's reliable, right? <laughs> 
it wasn't this time. Fuck. So when we realized we were at a casino, we told our Uber driver, uh, I do not think we were at the right place. And we rolled down the window and we asked if we were at the right place, only to confirm that we were not, obviously. And then we were given directions to the correct place and it was probably like 10 minutes down the road at the SoFi Stadium, which I was then like, what the literal fuck? I thought we were going to a theater. I did not know that Pitbull was doing a stadium show tonight. That was news to me. But then we found out that the YouTube theater is in the SoFi Stadium. So we were like, okay, that should be pretty easy to figure out despite us now being like 15 minutes late. Things were starting to not look up for us. So then we convinced our Uber driver to reroute to the SoFi Stadium and luckily he did that. And I wish I would have recorded more of this, but it was just a chaotic nightmare. There was no signs anywhere for the YouTube theater. Me, Sydney, and the Uber driver all felt insane because we were driving around in circles in the parking lot because number one, we could not find anyone to ask, hey, is there a Pitbull concert here tonight? And we finally got to like the entrance of the SoFi Stadium. Still no sign of YouTube theater or anything. But then our Uber driver was nice enough to just bring us to the other side of the stadium one more time. And then we finally found a worker to ask where the hell to go. And then of course, we were on the wrong side of the stadium and he told us we had to go to the other side of the stadium and find hole 10 for the VIP check-in. By the time that we had finally been pointed in the right direction, it had been 40 minutes since the last call for check-in. So the vibes were not good. It is uh, 4.56. We were supposed to be here at 4.10. 4 the odds of us getting this VIP package are now close to zero, but we'll see. This is gonna hurt. No, this is gonna be painful. This moment right now is about to dictate how the rest of my evening goes. They're really gonna hurt our feet. <laughs> hey. Are you guys here for the uh, VIP experience? Yeah. We didn't miss it. We were severely yeah, we lost. We couldn't find the yeah. zero. I think we missed the backstage experience. I don't think I got this part on camera, but the lady at the check-in desk actually told us that only two, two people had made it to the onstage picture. I did not have a goddamn clue how many people bought this expensive ass Pitbull VIP package. Like I thought it was the only lunatic that would have done that. But then as the night went on and more and more people started showing up in the VIP and everyone had like the same lanyards as we did, it became clear to me that no one made it to the onstage picture other than two people. I just thought it was kind of ridiculous when someone straight up admitted, oh yeah, no one that bought the package could actually do half of what the package includes because the address isn't anywhere online. So that was weird, but what can you do? So eventually we get led into VIP to just do everything else that the package consisted of. And then he started like kind of flirting with me in Sydney and we were like, ooh, like let's see what we can get with this. And we started begging him to see if he could do anything about the fact that we missed the picture. And he was like, hold on, I'm gonna go talk to someone and see what I can do. And we were like, okay, let's fucking go. We are back in the race. We just waited in the VIP lounge for him and me and Sydney were the first people there. So we were like, oh, uh, what? the fuck is going on? And he came back up to us pretty quick and was like, come with me. And we were like, oh shit, here we fucking go. And he leads us to the other side of the stadium. He takes us down in like the worker elevator and everything. So I think I'm about to be led to Mr. Worldwide himself. And he was like, I really don't know if we're going to be able to get you guys on stage. What a ridiculous sentence, but I'm going to try. He brought us to the arena and we opened the doors and walked in and the workers were building the stage. So we were shit out of luck. I just really wish that the address of this place would have been correct on any app, especially Google Maps, that I could have done that. Okay, the rumors are true. We did miss the on-stage photo. <laughs> but you know what? We have this little fun VIP area of just fucking us to hang out at. So that's what we're gonna do. Are we fucking kidding? <laughs> it's me and you, baby. <laughs> This guy's about to play Justin Timberlake. This is really everything I've ever needed and more. It's the way that we are one of like five people in VIP right now. No, everyone else here works here. They have like little tags on that say that they work here. Caitlin, there's fucking meatballs. <laughs> no, there's not. We love that man. We have to go back and tip him really well. No, we will, we will. Like, I might give him my whole savings account. <laughs> I'm buying the bottle. I buy bottle service for all 13 people in the VIP club. <laughs> Caitlin, wait, Caitlin, wait, Caitlin, wait. <laughs> It's past seven o'clock, 
so that means that we have to go inside soon. But I'm pretty drunk, honestly, and like I really don't want to leave this like garage with him, even to go see like the real Pitbull because like I'm drunk and this is like more entertaining. Here's but like, thing, Kaylin, I don't think Pitbull's real. Sydney's never seen him live. I've seen him live twice now, so like I just don't want to leave this collage because it's so perfect and I want to decorate my apartment like that. But like, fuck, I know I have to leave it at some point. And that's what sucks. But, like I really just want to take this home with me. Can I have it? What do you guys think? Let me know. I told you. <laughs> Guys, these are my new besties. Okay, wait. Tell me your name. Tell me everything you want to say right now. This is their first concert right now. I can say my own name. Yes, Jessica. Yep. This is your first concert ever? Yes. First concert is Pitbull. I'm like, shit myself. Holy crap. You're gonna have the best time ever. I know. I'm so excited. No, I'm so happy you chose this. Fuck. Oh my god. I love you guys so much. that I blacked out at this concert. 100% safe and 100% correct that that did happen. But I had the time of my fucking life, okay? I had a fantastic time. Every single dollar that I spent towards that was so worth it because the VIP section was lit all night. Being second row was ridiculous. Aunt Polly was absolutely fantastic. She told us that she would be our LA aunt and that we could come over for Thanksgiving if we wanted to, which is obviously approaching quickly, but I do not think I will be attending her Thanksgiving, even though it kind of sounds like it would be fun. I kind of miss that lady, I'm not gonna lie. At the end of the show, we left a tiny a bit early because we didn't want to get stuck in the traffic. I definitely beat the crowd because I ended up taking my shoes off in the middle of the show and also standing on a chair and I never put my shoes back on and I just walked out of the arena barefoot, walked outside barefoot, went to the Uber barefoot, had a really nice guy, probably me and Sydney's age is our Uber driver that was really just vibing with us the entire ride home. We played Pitbull the entire time and he was like, fuck, I wish I would have like thought to went and I'm like, yeah, well, sucks not being as sick as I am. If you ever see an ad anywhere for a Pitbull concert and you don't automatically think I should fucking go, then that is your own problem and you you have to reevaluate some things. Cause that guy said he did hear about it, but then didn't buy tickets. Like, excuse me, figure it out. So anyways, I went home and I immediately passed out. First thing I saw when I woke up at five in the morning, which you will see footage of in a second, was my notes app being open and discovering that I got the bartender's number and email. And then later found out that Sydney got his number two. And then it just all went downhill from there because I was still hammered. Guys, I just woke up. I'm so fucked up right now. <laughs> like I don't even know what to do about it. I was sleeping peacefully in my bed until I thought I was getting robbed <laughs> in our new apartment. It's just you. Dumping out the liquid IV all over the Yeah, floor. I just woke up and immediately went to the liquid IV bucket and did this. Caitlin, <laughs> I just cleaned that up for the third fucking time. But look at how much fun I'm having. It's not fun. It's my activity. <laughs> you just made me drop my whole liquid IV packet into my water. <laughs> Hey, that's not how liquid IV works. What do you think, it just disintegrates? These are not biodegradable. Why am I wearing these pants? <laughs> Caitlin. Hey. Dude, that is not my problem. Oh my god, holy shit, I have to have a liquid IV right now. First of all, you need a lot of things before you need a liquid IV. Your fucking dignity, how about that? At least I have liquid IV. No, like there's literally no way. No, not the tonsils. Wait, those are not tonsils. Fuck. Fuck, I'm so drunk. It looks like you literally just did surgery to remove those. You stormed away during Iggy. And Aunt Polly said, we've got to talk about Aunt Polly because, oh God, did I call 
Wait, you did that when you called 16 times? Oh god, that's so bad. Then that's so no, you bad. Didn't. There's no way. No, but I you stormed off in the middle of Iggy, and I looked and I said, Where is she going? Aunt Polly said, She wants another drink. I did not need another drink. I know, but you fully uh. stormed away to the bar, ordered both of our drinks by the time I got there, uh. and then made me pay for them. Ha, no, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you no, did. I did fucking not. I didn't need another drink. Didn't. Oh, I will pay you back for that. I have no recollection of doing that. Nope. And you made me pay for it, and I was like, Wait, hey, what did I say to make you pay for my drink? <laughs> when I got to the counter, I said, I ordered these. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? How are you I, going to solve this I problem? Was like, we don't need these, and you're like, we made them. I am drunk. It's 5:30 in the morning. I love you, Paul. I love you. And that's what happens when you get VIP at Pipple. What a fucking treat for all of us. I almost didn't upload this vlog because you guys just got an extravagant ass Pipple vlog, but you know what? I thought this one was kind of funny anyways too. I feel like anything me and Sydney do the next year together, I'm just going to have to upload whether I just did a similar video or not because nothing is ever going to be normal with us and I have accepted that already. And I kind of fucking love it. It's kind of iconic. Um, His tour is over now, so like if you snoozed, you definitely lost. I was gonna say lose, but I don't know if that's correct. Next video is uh the Harry Styles vlog, so I feel like I'm just gonna uh, cut straight to the point and end this video as fast as humanly possible so we can get to that vlog because that's coming out pretty quickly after this one. My new editor starts this week and you're gonna get a ton of random ass videos in front of your face that I'm going to force you to watch before you know it. If I have anything else to say, I will say it, but I think that's it. I love Pipple, I love Aunt Polly, and I hope that the YouTube theater updates its address on every single platform ever so that no one ends up missing half of their VIP package too. Pipple, someone from his team, for the love of fucking God, do something about this. Let me meet the man. Why hasn't this happened? Oh, fuck. Just fuck. Hopefully in 2022, someone from his team will figure it out and let me meet him. But until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bitch, I'm geeked out. Boy, you tweaking if you thinking I won't speak out. At the Airbnb, bring them freaks out. I push horses through them hillies, then I leap out. Baby, who the